Hi class, I'd like to show you how you can make a uh, dynamic PHP driven image gallery. I've got, um, well, the rough beginnings. Oh, of something that doesn't work yet. I've got the rough beginning of a um, PHP site that will become a recipe site eventually. And I want to add a, um, an image gallery here. So to do that, first I go and create myself a new file, a new PHP file in the views folder. And I call it image gallery. Just to get started, I'll make it really simple. Gallery here. <clears throat> I want it to return a simple string just to give me a notification that the file is loaded correctly. Now to load it, I want to update my navigation with a uh, navigation item for an image gallery. And that should have um, an href that points to index.php and sets a page variable to image hyphen gallery so it will match with my uh, image gallery file there so image gallery save and let's just see what I get the navigation item and when I click it the URL loaded is index.php question mark page equals image gallery and because of that index.php will load the image gallery.php file and the image gallery.php file will return the string gallery here. So that notification on my index confirms that my image gallery file is loaded correctly. So far so good. Let's start to turn it into a gallery, an actual gallery. Let's make a function for that show gallery should return well pretty much this. Let me just turn it into an H1. And then I want dollar out to be equal to whatever I get back from the show gallery fun function. And then dollar out is what I'd like to return to have displayed. So what happens here that is that I declare a variable dollar out to remember whatever is returned from the show gallery function. The show gallery function will return an h1 with a string dynamic image gallery that will be remembered in dollar out and dollar out will be returned from image gallery.php to index to index where it will be echoed eventually let's save and refresh and there we are, it's an H1, dynamic image gallery. Right, let's turn this into an actual image gallery, ever so slowly. Gallery HTML. To begin with, let's start with the H1 heading there. And what I want the uh, show gallery function to do is that I want it to iterate or loop through every image I've got in my, or rather every JPEG image I've got in my IMG folder. So all my JPEGs, I want to use those to automatically generate an image gallery. <clears throat> to do that, I can um, 
I can create a, um, a PHP directory iterator object and that will help me iterate or loop through or look through my IMG folder so the directory iterator will take me through all the files inside the IMG folder if I combine it with a while loop so while images are valid so while the directory iterator is looking at something that is a valid file I'm gonna add a little something to the gallery HTML string for now it'll be a list item with a couple of exclamation marks hang on if I have a list item I should first have say an unordered list like so and at the end of my after my while loop I want to close my unordered list and at the end return the gallery HTML and let me just take a look at that oh oh I uh, exhausted uh, my PHP uh, memory here because the directory uh, iterator will confirm if, if a given file is valid and then it will add uh, this uh, string to my return string but I never told the directory iterator to move on to the next file so it didn't really loop through the all the files it would just continue to read that first file and add a string for that first time again and again and again and again and then it exhausted its memory so when it's done its job I want to make sure that the directory iterator moves on to the next file and that should give me an unordered list with list items 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a little strange, but we'll get to see what that's about in a short while. So the directory iterator loops through or looks through all the files inside my MG folder here. Let's see what we can do with that. <coughs> Let's grab the file, and that would be the. Um, The current file the directory iterator is working on and I'm going to remember that as dollar file as a variable name there and I'm going to want to get the actually it's not the path it's the file name of the file that would be file get file name so I'm getting the file name of the file that the directory iterator is looking at currently uh, and then I want to concatenate that to my unordered list as a list item so let's just check a look at those file names look at that I've got the image files both jpegs and the png there and then i've got a dot and a dot dot and a dot ds store these are system files so they are even though i can't see them they are inside the the folder by default that's provided by the uh, by my operating system so i've got files and i want to show all my jpegs I don't want to try to make an image gallery out of my dots or dot dots or dot ds stores. No, actually, 
Do we want to make an image gallery out of any pings or GIFs or whatever I might have? Just the JPEGs. That's what I, what I want to use for my image gallery here. So to do that, I need to know if a given file is a JPEG. And to do that, I can create a new PHP object, a file. Hang on, hang on, let's be a new file info. And that file info, I want to use that to get the, the mine type of files. So I create a new file info object and I pass along a default or a native PHP constant to indicate that I want to use this file info object to inspect mime types. So the mime type of a given file would be info that was a little too much get info of the file name. Hang on, I can't use the file name. I'm gonna have to need the. I'm gonna have to use the um, relative path of that file name. So I need to add the img folder in front of it. Let's see. src for a given file is inside the img folder. And then the name of the file. <clears throat> so this should give me, through a file info object, it should give me the mime type. Let's just see what we get. So I get two directories and an octet stream and some image JPEGs and an image ping. I'm interested in the JPEG images, so I'm interested in these types here. So if type is equal to image JPEG, like to see uh, an image uh, with a source of src. Let's see. So I'd like to see an image of that JPEG, that JPEG, well, all my JPEGs basically to actually show an image. All I need to do is create an img tag and indicate the source of that image. And just to keep me um, safe from HTML validation errors, I'm going to add an alt attribute as well. And image gallery image. So just a generic alt value there. Let's try that. Here we are. That's an unordered list of all my images. Some of them quite big, some of them fairly small. <coughs> but basically, what I've got is that dynamically, PHP will find any JPEGs I've got inside the IMG folder and generate IMG HTML elements out of those JPEG images. So PHP will dynamically create an, a gallery for me. If I put another two or three JPEGs inside the IMG folder, I'd have um, an image gallery with another three or four images. So very easy to keep that image gallery updated. In, uh, in a later video, I'd like to show you how you can style this image gallery and add a slightly more functionality to make it a, a little more interesting. But for now, thank
thanks for watching. That's your dynamic PHP driven image gallery.